Now that we're done smoothing the Nike model, we're ready to get this thing onto the base and get machining. We want to acknowledge partner contributions to this project by including their logos on the model. In this case, we can see the base currently has three logos on it, Mastercam, Methods, and Yazda, leaving one face open for another logo. Typically, when I need to import a logo into Mastercam, I'll run the wireframe raster to vector utility. Here I can simply select an image file, click open, and Mastercam's raster to vector utility will convert that image into Mastercam lines and arcs. Raster to vector can be optimized if you play with all the settings. Ultimately here, I just kept things default. If I say OK and exit, we're left with a logo that's not exactly perfect. It did a really good job. I could have gotten something better if I took the time to play with the settings, but there's a much better way in Mastercam to import logos. Let's delete this logo for now. Mastercam now has the ability to open and import PDF files. I was given logos in this format, let's import those. If I control, click, and drag the PDF file into Mastercam, we can see the merge utility runs, and now I'm merging all the logos in this file. When Mastercam opens a PDF file, each page is given a view sheet, meaning I can toggle between all the different pages of this PDF file by toggling across the view sheets. Ultimately, I can find which logo I like best, Let's say, for example, I like this one. I'm going to take this logo and move this over to level one. The next step is to simply position this logo on the base. Let's select all, transform, dynamic, selecting the gnomon on the midpoint. I can now rotate up by 90 degrees, rotate this 180. I can slide the x-axis and type the M key to find the midpoint of this line, and the same thing with Y, M, midpoint of that line, and then slide the Z in so that we land on that face. The final step here is to scale this to size so I can select all result entities, transform, scale, find a scale that works, say, looks like 30%. And there we go. We've imported the logo and positioned it much faster than if we were using raster to vector.